Okay, thanks for that uh, very warm welcome. Uh, at this stage, all I'm going to do for you lot is apologise for how late we've started. Unfortunately, there was a, a small problem with the logistics, and uh, hopefully we'll get it sorted, and eventually you'll eat at some stage today. <laughs> so, for, for a start, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And as chairman of the England Indoor Cricket Association, let me extend a very, very warm welcome to you all, especially coming to our country, something that we're very proud of, and we're very proud to have you here over the next eight days. As some of you will know, and, and maybe some not, this is going to be the biggest ever Indoor Cricket World Cup. There are eight countries, 22 teams, and in excess of 400 players and officials that are going to take place in this very special event. And if you think about it, this just shows, as a sport, how very, very far that we've come since 1995, which was the first ever World Cup that was held in this country. And at that time, we had four countries and only four teams. So, you know, there's a lot of people at that stage, way back then, that said, you'll never do it, you're never going to bring it together. So guess what? Here we are, we've done it, and here you are tonight. I've got, I've got to extend a special welcome to uh, some countries. I'm not going to say too much about them because I'm pretty sure that uh, Ross Collins will uh, when he's up next. But Guernsey, France and Wales, well done, welcome. Thank you for coming. <laughs> this year, the ERCA has formed a partnership with the ECB and in order to develop indoor cricket even further in this country we've got a representative here from the ECB today which is Frank Kemp and his good lady that is sitting down here to the right and I think for uh, the ERCA this is a major step for us because we can now really really push forward with the sport in this country and part of our remit from the ECB is to demonstrate how this sport can be played from cradle to grave. And as such, tomorrow, for the first time, for England, we've got a young lady of 13 years of age that is going to take her first cap for this country. And I'm sure you all agree that's worth a round of applause. At the other end of the scale, we, the World Indoor Cricket Federation would like to welcome to this tournament the over 45s. So, and they are very much nearer the grave than some of you youngsters. <laughs> so, so what we've actually decided to call this, we're actually demonstrating that we can go from grassroots to grey roots. <laughs> and my friend John Alcock at the back will understand that. So anyway, hopefully that by including the over 45s, this isn't part of the World Cup event, but it's another event that's to run alongside just to demonstrate how the, the longevity of this sport and how we can really play it from a very young age to a very old age. So I'm sure that you all agree that um, an event of this magnitude takes a fair bit of organising. So I would like to say just a, a few thanks and then wind this up for you so you can get on and eat. The first thanks really are to uh, Greg Van Long and his team at Action Cricket. <laughs> Especially George Robinson that has done an absolutely outstanding job in bringing together a stadium of truly world-class standards. I'm sure you've all seen it and you'll all agree. <laughs> Secondly, our tournament referee, which is Rene Robinson. 
Now, those of you that have been around for a while will know René, and you would have also played in other tournaments where René has actually handled the tournament, and what an absolutely fantastic job she's done in the past, and I'm sure that she's going to do exactly the same this time, René. Another really important part for us was our World Cup committee, and there were seven members on that committee, and over the last six months they have absolutely worked their socks off, and at times uh, Barry and Alison have been doing 20-hour days to put this together, and without everybody together it just wouldn't have happened. So if you please, for them. As you all know, and all the countries that are participating in this, you will know that the WICF, or the World Indoor Cricket Federation, are responsible, ultimately, for everybody that's here. And the work that goes on behind the scenes that most of you don't see, but you actually turn up at the events, is mostly put together by Ross Collins and Karen Denman. So please show your appreciation for them. And last but not least, each and every one of you. I really do appreciate the fact that you're here and you put your hand in your pocket to come. I know this isn't a massively sponsored sport, and we do have sponsors here that have uh, stumped up some money for this. And I also realise that the exchange rate in this country it doesn't make it very cheap to come here. Believe me, I've lived here for the best part of 50 years, so I know. A couple of expensive wives as well, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> So, <laughs> I know this country isn't cheap. So, the thing of it is, I'm absolutely sure that by the end of this tournament, you will all go away having had value for money. And that's what we aim to do with you. This is just the start of eight days where we're going to try and do everything possible for you to enjoy yourself. Okay, down to the cricket. Not very important, is it, really? Over the next eight days, I'm absolutely sure there's going to be a few tears shed. And probably not all of those tears are going to be tears of joy. But the most important thing to remember is that when the cricket is finished, the friendships will endure. That is what this is really all about. After we've played our cricket... <laughs> after we've played our cricket, it is about making friendships that will last across the world for life. So, from tomorrow, go forward, play cricket, make friends, and above everything else, enjoy it.